Hello, I'm Dr. Randy Morris, the Medical Director at IVF1, and this is Infertility TV. IVF starts with injections of fertility medications to stimulate the development of multiple eggs. These fertility drugs are self-administered over the course of 10 to 12 days. Additional injections are used to prevent premature ovulation. During this time, the response of the ovaries is monitored with blood tests and transvaginal ultrasounds. Once the monitoring indicates the eggs are mature, a procedure to remove the eggs from the ovaries is performed. This is called an egg retrieval. The egg retrieval is performed under anesthesia. At this time, the male partner is collecting a semen specimen. In the laboratory, the eggs are identified under a microscope and sperm is added to them, usually by injecting a sperm directly into the egg. This is called ICSI. The fertilized eggs are allowed to develop in special incubators for five to six days. At this point, embryos can either be transferred into the uterus or undergo further testing to identify abnormalities. If a transfer occurs, the patient will also take progesterone supplements to ensure a good uterine lining. The final step? A pregnancy test one week later. To learn more, subscribe to Infertility TV now or visit our website at IVF1.com.